I joined the RAF when I was 16. Uh, my mother thought I was going somewhere else on the morning I left, a morning in January, early, early in the year. And I had, a, I had my suit on, my Sunday best, and I had it down to the recruiting office. And I wanted to join the RAF. And I was only 16. But my the girl I married, her brother Joe, he was a good boy at forging. He changed the date on my birth certificate. But the problem was, the ink that he used was different from the ink of the original ink. Oh no. And I said, they'll catch me on with it. I, can't, I couldn't present that, Joe. Mm -hmm. He says, well, the only thing I could do is go over the whole lot with that ink. Mm -hmm. And that's what he did. It took him about an hour. And it passed. And the year was, it was 1924, whereas I was born 1926. So I'm 90 now. Mm -hmm. But my RAF age is 92. I wasn't caught. But what I did was I set through the form down on the desk, he said I had to answer questions and same thing. And the recruiter just looked at it, that's all. As soon as he looked up and, and then looked to another room and I lifted and put it in my pocket so that he wouldn't uh, put it in the papers, you know. Yeah. And uh, when he came back I said, Okay, you're coming in and you're going to edit. You want to fly, that's okay. Well, he says, you can't be a pilot because you haven't got your school leaving certificate. But we'll make you a flight engineer, and you can fly the plane. All flight engineers have to fly the plane. In case the pilot gets killed, the flight engineer takes over. Okay, I said, I'll do that. <laughs> that's great. And uh, so I joined, and I went over to uh, the training depot for 10 weeks, basic training, that was how to salute much. Yeah. Rifle drills, yeah. saluting, all this. It takes 10 weeks to learn all that. Get a crease in your trousers and a crease down your sleeve and all this. And the buttons all lined up and polished. Wow. So I passed out A1. Mm -hmm. This is brilliant. This is a photograph. There's the only photograph I have in uniform because we weren't allowed to. Uh, weren't allowed to uh, there it is. That's me in the army there. I was a major in the army after the war. When I finished my training then it was in Bomber Command, Lancasters. Then we were grounded, all brought into a room and we were told you're going out to Burma to the Chindits to serve under General Lord Wingate, who was in charge of the Chindits. We want you to work with him, because he's doing a big operation behind the enemy lines. 3,000 troops was the first expedition, and 6,000 6, troops the second expedition. And we were flying them in, their equipment, all sorts of things, doing operations for them. If they wanted to put a place bombed, we did it. Uh, if they wanted to fly from here to there a thousand miles away, we did it, you know. And that was our job. That's why I said uh, the RAF men will remember that, that remembrance thing. Went out there and it was very dicey. We lost a lot of men. Stone Road, I married the girl next door. Right. And uh, she was the sister of the fella that altered my birthday. Her and I went to school together, and we joined, we started school together in 1929. Her mother took her up, my mother took me up, and the four of us walked up the Langstone Road. And Mona, that was her name, always had one over on me. She used to say, you know, Bob, when you joined, you came to school, and the day you joined the school with me, you cried all day and I didn't, and you're supposed to be a hero. <laughs> <laughs> she kept casting that up on me, you know. 